When Yaakov was returning from Lavan, and Aishal met him in peace on the way, Aishal returned that day on his way to Sheir, and Yaakov journeyed to Sukkot and built him a house and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Sukkot. And Yaqob came in peace to the city of Shukum, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Paddanaharam, and encamped before the city, and he bought the parcel of ground where he had spread his tent, at the hand of the children of Hamor, Shukum's father, for a hundred kashita of money. And he erected there an altar, and called it El Helohe Yisrael, Bereshit, Genesis chapter 34. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she bare to Yaakov, went out to see the daughters of the land. And Shukum, the son of Hamor, the Hewi, the prince of the land, saw her, and he took her, and lay with her, and humbled her. And his soul clave to Dinah, the daughter of Yaakov, and he loved the damsel, and he worded upon the heart of the damsel. And Shukum spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel for a woman. Now Yaakov heard that he had defiled Dinah his daughter, and his sons were with his cattle in the field, and Yaakov was silent until they came. And Hamor the father of Shukum went out to Yaakov to commune with him. And the sons of Yaakov came in from the field when they heard it, and the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had wrought folly in Yisrael in lying with Yaakov's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shukum longeth for your daughter. I pray you, give her to him for a woman, and make ye marriages with us, give your daughters to us, and take our daughters to you, and ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you, dwell and trade therein, and get you possessions therein. And Shukum said to her father, and to her brothers, let me find favour in your eyes, and what ye shall say to me I will give. Ask me ever so much bride price and gift, and I will give according as ye shall say to me, but give me the damsel for a woman. And the sons of Yaakov answered Shukum and Hamor his father with guile, and spoke, because he had defiled Dinah their sister and said to them, We cannot do this thing, to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised, for that were a reproach to us. Only on this condition will we consent to you, if ye will be as we are, that every male of you be circumcised. Then will we give our daughters to you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if ye will not hearken to us to be circumcised, then will we take our daughter, and we will be gone. And their words pleased Hamor and Shukum Hamor's son. And the young man deferred not to effectuate the thing, because he had delight in Jacob's daughter, and he was honoured above all the house of his father. And Hamor and Shukum his son came to the gate of their city, and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us, therefore let them dwell in the land, and trade therein. For behold, the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for women, and let us give them our daughters. 
Only on this condition will the men consent to us to dwell with us, to become one people, if every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and all their beasts be ours? Only let us consent to them, and they will dwell with us. And to Hamor and to Shukum his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of his city, and every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. And it was on the third day, when they were sore, that two of the sons of Yaakov, Shumaon and Lewi, Dinar's brothers, took each man his sword, and came upon the city unawares, and slew all the males. And they slew Hamor, and Shukum his son, with the edge of the sword, and took Dinar out of Shukum's house, and went forth. The sons of Yaakov came upon the slain, and plundered the city, because they had defiled their sister. They took their flocks, and their herds, and their donkeys, and that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their little ones, and their women, took they captive, and made a prey, even all that was in the house. And Yaakov said to Shumaon and Lewi, Ye have troubled me, to make me odious to the inhabitants of the land, among the Kna'ani and the Perazi, and I, being few in number, they will gather themselves together against me, and smite me, and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. And they said, Should he deal with our sister as with a harlot? And God said to Yaakov, Arise, go up to Baithel, and dwell there, and make there an altar to the God, the one appearing to thee in thy fleeing from the face of Eshau thy brother.' 